brazen. It's a phrase that originated in the Northwest Territory during the War of 1812. A simple phrase, but one with profound feelings of resentment, vengeance, and betrayal. On the bleak winter morning of January 23rd, 1813, a group of Native American warriors launched a deadly surprise attack against dozens of wounded United States prisoners of war along the River Waste in the Michigan Territory. The attack was in retaliation for earlier atrocities committed against the Native warriors, but it led to a cry heard across America, stirring feelings of resentment and vengeance against Native peoples. The vast majority of the residents in the territory were indigenous. There were hundreds of native villages in Michigan, most of them communities of the Odawa, Ojibwe, Potawatomi, and Wyandotte. However, Lewis Cass, the governor of the Michigan Territory and a War of 1812 veteran, would change that. Cass would even help bring about a change in how many Americans regarded native people. The legacy of the War of 1812 has felt very strongly in Native communities. It might be a blip on the map of American history, but for the map of Native history, it's huge. The River Raisin National Battlefield Park commemorates, remembers, and honors all who fought and sacrificed themselves on behalf of their nations. Journey with us to discover the untold legacy of the River Raisin as it explores the conflict of U.S. westward expansion and natives in defense of their ancestral lands.